The snowy landscape of southwest Ohio is a far cry from the battlefield, but the skills learned here could be just as valuable when it comes to combating improvised explosive devices, or IEDs. It may look like a normal mailbox, but inside is a device designed to kill. Fortunately, it's just a training IED, but the lessons learned are real. So IEDs are very creative when it comes to the bomb maker, and it also requires the tech to be able to think on their toes and think one step ahead of a bomb maker. It's that thinking on their toes part that Stadsvold is testing today. The work site is in what's called a permissive environment. Basically, there's nothing happening around the operators to either distract or interfere with their disposal process. I'll leave the x-ray equipment and everything down here. It's been a long time since EOD units have been able to really focus on the finesse aspect of their skills. High deployment tempos in non-permissive environments worked in operators' ability to clear a danger quickly, but not necessarily as safely as possible. Being able to spend additional time now, focused on diagnostic techniques using x-ray and other equipment, could save lives if these technicians get called again to fight. When they apply permissive training to non-permissive environments, they can more quickly realize what's happening and get that non-permissive situation resolved a lot faster. Once thoroughly examined, the team leader decides how best to render safe the IED. From there, it's just a matter of executing the plan, albeit carefully. In this case, it's using a water shot to disrupt the firing chain of the IED. Today's exercise went really well. Team worked really well together. We were able to prosecute uh, the problem uh, with no difficulties at all. Yeah. From Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, it was gone. I'm, like, yeah. I'm John Harrington. Oh,